The clouds have come down today, there's a bit more wind. Um, yesterday was a beautiful sunny day, it was one of the best days we've had since set up. Um, it's kind of a bit worrying, maybe the storm's coming back. Um, we've had a weather forecast which doesn't look too great, but um, who knows in this place it's quite, uh, it changes very quickly, it's a very rapid environment. But science doesn't stop, uh, we've just drilled our new hole and this is for some experiments that we're going to be doing. Um, it's quite manual work, so we're out here in the cold, uh, in the wind. Uh, just got to keep your back to the wind and get going. Um, but maybe we should take a look at what happened last week to see how we coped in last week's storm. We're trying to clear uh, off the Sastrugi from the, from the wind so we can have a DC3 land tomorrow. But the wind's really working against us and it's building up, um, building up lumps and humps on the runway as we work. So it's, uh, it's quite hard work actually and it's, uh, you just feel like is it going to be, is it going to work? Are we going to be able to get a plane in tomorrow or not? So we're just waiting for the explorers to arrive. Uh, they should be coming from behind me uh, any moment soon. Uh, and in the uh, the weather's been deteriorating all day, and in the final half hour, it's really gone down the visibility. So we're not going to see them, or they're not going to see us till till they're very close. Maybe uh, I'd say the vis is probably now down to two or three hundred meters, and it's worsening all the time. So they've got the GPS position for the camp, so they'll find us. But. Uh, it would be nice to see them from further out, so it's a bit disappointing the weather's a bit gnarly at the moment. Yeah, the uh, explorer team are behind us. Uh, Simon has done a bit of a recce, I think possibly to see if they'd stopped just out of sight of the camp, because the visibility is about 400 metres at the most, so less than half a kilometre obviously. Um, anyway, they're on the way in, they're looking pretty tired, judging by their body language, and they've been going into the wind all day, so they're going to be quite quite sore on the faces. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be happy to come back into camp. I'm very pleased to see them, safe and sound. So, not long now. Well, I've got my mask is stuffed to my face, so I can't pull it off or rip my chin off. So I've got to go inside and thaw it before I can remove it. Because <laughs> so, it just clagged in when we came into this vicinity. And we, yeah. we did a lap yeah. and then realised, no, it is here. And it's kind of like, since we'd already done a day of travel in this, we knew that once we couldn't see, we wouldn't see. I love that there's a dog. Minus 25, it's balmy now, it's isn't it, you know? Yeah. Hey, Phil! Hey, yeah, good. Hey, good. Who's that one there? Hello, we can see you. Yeah. Got a on for you. Fabulous. Yeah, it's obviously uh, it's quite a good, uh, significant moment for the ice basin explorers as they meet up here and uh, haven't seen them for a while. So it's good to have them in camp and. Uh, Hopefully they get some hot food and a nice warm tent to eat and, and the luxury of sitting on a chair for a change.
Good morning, Ann and Tyler. Mm. Hi. Mm. How's the first breakfast at Ice Base? Well, I'm happy. Wow. <laughs> Looking at Frank. Dinner was the best I've ever had. But I have to say, I quite like Tyler's pemmican in the morning. Ramen noodles and pemmican. I've got used to it. This certainly isn't going to turn on the, the, the heat. furnace. No, in the same it's way. not. Usually no. in cold milk. It's Tell not us about quite that. Same. What is it about the pemmican? Oh. Go on, it's your pemmican. I don't know what pemmican. to say. What isn't it about the pemmican? Oh, he heats I... it up in a pan and it's got nuts and meat and noodles and cheese Bad. and milk and fat. And double, it's just what you want. The double cheese pemmican was particularly good. Yeah, we had double cheese pemmican yesterday on our last. Day and it was yummy, and I got to have some extra cheese. Yeah, you did. On the yep. lid, which yep. is still in the lid. You, you put, put it on, it and all of a sudden, you start unzipping. Put it on. Can put it in. Put it in. <laughs> well, it feels, feels like you put it on, because yeah. then you gotta take it off. Victoria, give us a sense of ice based breakfast. Uh, we have porridge. Some people put peanut butter in it, others jam, um, and bacon. <laughs> and then we also have uh, pancakes. And dried fruit, and normally leftover dessert from the night before. A bit of chocolate in your porridge is always very nice. Um, and then uh, we have our morning meeting, and then we generally go out and do science. What does it, what does it look like outside? Windy. <laughs> it's windy and cold, and the snow is blowing horizontally. That's what it feels like. <laughs> It's a proper storm out there at the moment. Um, the last one was just a little bit of a precursor to this one, so uh, yes, uh, it's not very nice out there. <clears throat> It's been about four days since um, the explorers arrived and the day they arrived there was a storm going on, the visibility was really low, you could see maybe 100 metres. There was high winds, 20-30 knots gusting um, and it was pretty gnarly, it wasn't very pleasant, um, which was, it's quite weird now after that it's cleared up today, yesterday it started to brighten up and today the wind this morning had completely dropped, it's kind of back up a little bit again today but you can actually see um, the rubble ice in the distance and some of the land um, off in the distance as well and it's kind of weird after not being able to see anything or just hearing wind for the last four days and now it seems really quiet um, kind of eerie but but good like we're back in in the right place and um, still doing science continues as ever with mini sampling and um, doing something every day which is brilliant to carry on So it's day five of the prolonged period of poor weather. 
and it's hard to say really it's certainly not flyable at the moment the this lower cloud does seem possibly like there's some decent stuff above it because it seems quite bright but the uh, as you can see behind me and it's worth worse when I'm looking in this direction there is no differentiation between snow and sky so clearly not flyable at the moment so fingers crossed that uh, we see an improvement and get an aeroplane in this afternoon so yeah fingers crossed and it's uh, it's Groundhog Day at the ice base.